I am delighted to join you briefly for the 10th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation in Dhaka. I remember being in Dhaka for an earlier conference which took place on the 24th and 25th of April 2013. I remember it because we were all torn apart, I might say. We were all absolutely shattered by the terrible tragedy of the collapse at the, what was called the Rana Plaza uh, collapse of the Savar uh, building. We didn't quite know at the time just how many people would ki be killed. Um, a death toll of about 1,130. Um, it was a terrible, dark moment. But I do remember the spirit at that conference, and I know that that spirit is alive and well today. Enhancing urban community resilience is an important theme because I think in the past uh, the community-based adaptation has tended to focus more on rural communities, but we know that more and more people are moving to urban centres, so it really is important. I'm sure you will also bring out the role of women, uh, the role of women in managing resilience in urban environments. I also hope you will really take heart uh, from the Paris Climate Conference last December. I was there, uh, Salim Huck was also there and many others, and I still remember when the gavel came down and we clapped and we hugged each other and many of us cried. Why? Because we felt invested in the fact that that conference had done things we didn't expect, had set a new bar, new standards, and I hope they give you a lot of hope at your conference in Dhaka. Take, for example, the fact that adaptation is now brought up to the level of mitigation in importance in addressing climate change. We still have to see more funding, of course. And take, for example, that there's a whole article on loss and damage, which this time last year we wouldn't have expected. And above all, that we're now aiming for well below 2 degrees and striving for 1.5 degrees or below. That has never been so explicitly said before. And we've set the long-term goal, as it's called, to have carbon neutrality by the second half of the century. We know we have to have carbon neutrality by 2050 if we're going to achieve the well below 2 degrees and get to 1.5. So I think there is a great deal to celebrate, but also it has shifted the burden more to developing countries because they now have to implement the INDCs and indeed increase the ambition and they must get the resources and support and financing, climate finance and transfer of technology uh, to do that. Um, I will have been in New York for the uh, signing ceremony on the 22nd of April and that was an occasion where so many heads of state and government from all around the world showed that they are committed to the Paris uh, Agreement. So warm congratulations to IIED and also the other organisations that are associated with this 10th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation. A 10th anniversary is a real landmark. It shows resilience of an association that you can have this 10th anniversary. So I send you warm greetings and hope you will have a great conference.